ladies and gentlemen, Miss Dolly Parton. Miss Parton, oh, I can't thank you enough for being in my dream. I'm your biggest fan. This is such an honor. Oh, well, thank you, Charlene. Please just call me Dolly. <laughs> And actually, I was sent here to talk to you. You were? Yeah, you know, kind of like that angel and It's a Wonderful Life. Are you an angel? No, I'm just a movie star. I don't think I'd make angel if I died. I tell you, they couldn't have sent me anybody better. I've always felt this special bond with you, you know, because we're both country girls from big, poor families, and we both have blonde hair, and, and we both have, you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and you're from Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Oh my gosh, how'd you know that? Oh, I told you I know all about you. I also know that in a few hours you're gonna meet the best friend that you'll ever have, your daughter. Oh, I knew it. I knew it was gonna be a girl. I got a name all picked out too. Olivia Frazier Stillfield. Oh, I hope she grows up to be just like you. As far as I'm concerned, Miss Parton, you're the greatest hick who ever lived. Oh, well, thank you, Charlene. Actually, she is a little like me. Which part? She's no angel either. <gasps> Oh, gosh, I can't wait to meet her. Oh, but she can't come today. I'm not ready. Oh, it won't be today. It's tomorrow, January 1, 1990, the first day of the last decade of the entire 20th century. Oh, it's just so exciting, Charlene. Everything is changing. This whole world is just opening up. Well, that young could be anything. Wow. She could be the next leader of the free world. Well, that's right. She could, but she also could work at a car wash. Wow, a car wash. <laughs> could be interesting, too. I'm just a little sad, though, you know, because whatever she is, you know, my, my grandma and my grandpa and my sister Pat, who died, you know, they won't be here to see her. Oh, well, that's where you're wrong, Charlene. Because when Olivia comes into the world tomorrow, they'll be with her. I mean, everybody in your family that's gone on before you, everybody you've loved, you'll see them in her eyes and in her smile and in the way she walks. And when she takes her first step and says her first words, they'll be there. When she has a fever, three o'clock in the morning, when she gets caught in the rain, walking home from school, when she hits her first baseball, they'll be there. Are you sure? Yes. And when she's afraid of the dark, when she forgets to say her prayers, when the wind catches her voice on a warm summer day, they'll be there. Thank you, Dolly. This means so much to me. I love you so much. Oh, careful now, Charlene. Let's don't gouge each other. <laughs> oh, she's going to be a beautiful, healthy baby. She's a real firecracker. <laughs> you know, I have to go. I have to sing tonight. Bye, Dolly. Wait, wait. How, how'd you get to be so wise? Oh, I guess it just comes with being a star. We're able to see the world from a greater distance. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, that makes sense. Oh, boy, I feel so much better. Thank you, Dolly, for being in my dream. Oh, you're welcome. You just remember that tomorrow, when you meet your daughter, on the first day of the last decade of the entire 20th century, you'll be meeting the person that'll be holding your hand when it's your time to go. And even then, Charlene, she won't be alone. They'll be there. Bye, Dolly. I'll be seeing you. Oh, you count on that. Cause I'm your guardian movie star. <laughs> Boy, she looks even better in person. Oh darn, I forgot to ask her for her autograph. Oh gosh, Olivia's coming in a few hours. It's almost the first day of the last decade of the entire 20th century. And Olivia's coming. <laughs> 